When we talk about the issues facing the ocean, we often use a mixture of statistics and some dire predictions. But there is an entirely different way to think about it by considering our emotional and psychological connection to the ocean. This is the Thank You Ocean Report. The thing we have on our side is the ocean makes people happy. People really love the ocean. And we're often afraid to talk about that because it's soft. It's not quantitative. It's emotional. Jay Nichols is a research associate at the California Academy of Sciences. He says that in the field of neuroscience, scientists are filling in some of the science behind these soft emotions. Scientists are looking at our emotional connection to music, for example. But what you won't find is the neuroscience of our emotional connection to the ocean, which is surprising because it's the biggest feature of our planet. Seems like it would be ripe for inquiry. So we're trying to change that. And Jay has developed something called Blue Mind. It's connecting the fields of ocean exploration and conservation with neuroscience by holding a series of conferences. And bringing people together, hopefully in order to create a whole new wave of graduate students who find some exciting careers in asking and answering some of these questions. So simple things like, what is it about an ocean view? that compels people to spend twice as much to have it, whether it's a hotel room or a vacation rental or a condo. There's 100% premium sometimes on those transactions that come with an ocean view. Jay observes that people seem to feel that going to the beach makes them happy or is healing. And we're not talking about magic and metaphysics and far out stuff. We're talking about medical science and neuroscience. I asked Jay as a scientist, what are the questions he has regarding our connection to the ocean? I want to know what the ocean is doing to our brains when we're standing there or sitting there on our surfboards or looking out the window at it or or listening to it. What is that blue spot in our brain? Where is it? What is going on? And from there, Jay says, a deeper understanding for how we are connected to the ocean may be a new way to motivate people to do more to help the ocean we depend on. I know that's a bit of a leap from the knowledge to the action, and I'm, I'm betting that it helps. By no means do I think it's a, a silver bullet solution to our ocean crisis. I think all of the other disciplines that are engaged with figuring out how to take better care of the ocean are, are still going to be important. You know, this isn't a replacement piece. It's, a, it's just a new tool for our toolbox. But I think if you go to the ocean and you learn something about what it's doing for you psychologically, neurologically, how it's literally sucking the stress out of you, which is certainly what it feels like to me, and you learn that, yes, stress does cause disease. We know that's a fact. And that, therefore, the ocean is kind of like medicine. That may compel you to help a little more to support the groups and the efforts that are currently working hard to make sure that ocean place stays healthy. Jay is planning Blue Mind meetings and conferences where he hopes to connect scientists, neuroscientists, conservation practitioners, marine educators in a quest to learn more about the connection between our brains and the ocean. Blue Mind 2 is coming up on June 4th and 5th on the Outer Banks of North Carolina, Appropriately, our own Thank You Ocean campaign will be featured in a session on the mind and gratitude. My thanks to Jay Nichols. To learn more about Blue Mind, visit our website, thankyouocean.org. I'm Jerry Kay.